So the most important part about sharpening is understanding the tip of the instrument. A tool I use to help understand is called a jeweler's loop. You can easily buy a 10x jeweler's loop for not much money. You hold the jeweler's loop up to your eye and the tip of the instrument up close. You hold up your instrument right up to the jeweler's loop. Notice how I'm looking at the tip and rotating to make sure I understand each part of the tip and where it might be blunt and where it might be bent a little bit. Once you understand and you see the precise nature of the tip, you only need to take off a very little bit of metal. So the tool I'm using to sharpen with is called a diamond sharpening card. These come in various grades from coarse to fine to extra fine. On this instrument, which is already in pretty good shape, I'm using a fine card. To sharpen the tip of your instrument, think about what part of the tip needed to be shaped. Now that I know it is only this part of the tip that needed to be shaped just a little bit, I'm dragging the instrument across the sharpening card. That most of the time is all it takes to touch up a tip. I also know there was a little bit of shaping I needed to do on this side. And for good measure, that's it. This instrument will be quite sharp now. So once I've sharpened, I confirm using the jeweler's loop and I take a good look at the tip and I understand what I've done. You probably noticed when I was sharpening, I didn't do very many strokes at once and I did them quite gently. So now I'm taking the same instrument and now that I've modified the point slightly, I'm going to do just a little bit more modification. And now take another look, and it's beautiful. So as you're sharpening, you'll notice that the pointy hemostat has the handle on it. This handle being here gives you a nice sharpening angle. If you're not good at holding steady with your hands, you can rest the handle of the pointy hemostat, or the lead dissector, on the table and drag across very gently like this and that gives you a really nice point if you use your handle as a guide. So now that I've sharpened the sides of the tips, I'm sharpening the base with some very gentle motions. And you notice I have not done very many strokes, but just enough to shape the tip like I want it. And always as you shape, confirm with your jeweler's loop to make sure you understand what you've done. As you shape the tip, sometimes you want to take a little bit off from this surface, so you just hang the dissector off the edge of the table, and you can do a very few strokes like this. And then once again, confirm with your jeweler's loop. 